Let's watch this one. These are the most popular outdoor toys ever made. I must have missed the meeting oh. one step. True, real. This is going fast already. Sticks. That feeling when you find a good stick and you want to take it home and then your mom says no and you're devastated. <laughs> You guys ever done that where you find the perfect stick? It's such a cool thing. And you have to give it up. These are the most popular outdoor toys ever made. I must have missed the meeting when step five happened. That's true. Popular Hold on. I keep toys pausing made. these two. I must have missed no one did step five. I don't remember step five either. You did what to step four. The meeting when step five happened. This is the baby shark of the. Oh my god, the gummy bear song. I do like the gummy bear song. The 2000s kids. I can hear this picture. One <laughs> burned you alive, and the other one electrocuted you. Oh, true! Fuck! This is making me nostalgic, chat. The fucking third degree burns that you would get from this thing. And at this, you go down, and at the end, you touch metal, and you could power the sun with the static that you the made. Static. How straight were your parents? My parents could speak to me with their eyes. Only mm -hmm. real ones remember. What? Oh, fuck. One was always not working. I had these and I remember I took a mouse ball out of my mouse and I don't remember if I stuck it in this or like a subwoofer for like a Dell computer, but I stuck it in there and I could never get it out. The speakers fucking sucked. I mean, these were great in the 90s. I still have the scarred ass checks from the slide. One was always not working. THX, the loudest noise of your childhood. Oh scared the God. hell out of me every But it sounded great. Time. The original auto-tune. True, so, real. Did anyone else go through a phase as a kid where you were genuinely concerned about the Bermuda Triangle? Yes! Six-year-old me was like, bro, why are we not solving <laughs> this problem? I say <laughs> It would be on the Discovery Channel. It's like, any plane that goes in the Bermuda Triangle disappears. And they're like, well, how do they fix it? <laughs> As a kid? I mean, I guess I'm mildly concerned now still. But like, as a child, it was like the biggest problem ever. Right? There were so many things where like, you're a kid that's like, this is a problem. And then you grow up and you're like, oh, actually, I'm never going to have to deal with that in my life. <laughs> remember what but it was like the bermuda triangle fucking tornadoes most of the time shark attacks all kinds of shit my pc speakers in the 90s came from radio shack had bass ports hell yeah tiny tunes had the best th thx gag the audience is now deaf i'll find you amelia Earhart. the rainforest oh constantly worried about the rainforest I remember reading someone saying that quicksand ended up being far less a problem than they thought as a kid. Yeah, because quicksand was in like every movie. Like every movie when you were a kid, like the protagonist got stuck in quicksand at some fucking point. It was like, it was a constant thing. And then you're like, that's not something I ever have to worry about. <laughs> the fault line causing a super earthquake. We talked about quicksand in school too. Yeah, it's weird, man. I can both hear this image and feel it hitting me in the face. Bring but these back. Anyone else smell it? Thinking it yes. was illegal to turn this light on while your True. mom was driving. Fuck. I will never get over the fact that this was the first YouTube <laughs> app icon. Only OGs used to have these on their ceilings in their room. The flavor of the Fuck. wooden spoon haunts me to this oh day. Oh my god, Setting it made it so fucking bad. Fuck that wooden spoon. You know you're right, I do recall a lot of quicksand scenes. They were everywhere! I'm glad I know about it uh, in case my... Some freak act incident. I end up in quicksand, but still. Yeah, fucking. It's crazy. Year old me when the computer wasn't even turned on. Overthinking mm -hmm. during childhood. True what do and you real. Remember the most from your childhood. Hey, did you ask yet? Me. No. My mom's in a bad mood. Me and my childhood. <laughs> for no reason. If you don't. That was what do you mean for no legs, reason? You are soft. Hold on. Me and my childhood. This wasn't for no reason. It made a fucking cool sound. This wasn't for no reason. For no reason. If you don't got one of these on your legs, you are soft. Mm -hmm. Seven-year-old me, half asleep in the back of my parents' car. Me, mapping every turn in my head to see if I knew where I was. How are kids these True days and real. Fuck. When I was a kid, this I was is too relatable. to figure out how they got cars into malls. Why would Same! What the fuck? <laughs> 
the ruler thing also work with the doorstop true real and then you put the ruler on the desk and you hit it and it makes the big sound and then you slowly pull it in so you be like wah, 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 and it gets faster and goes like more high pitched it was great i think our kids just always retarded cuz like we were stupid when we were kids and now they have fidget spinners and subway surfers but like i think we're just always dumb <laughs> i guess was there always a bite taken out of these? This because is they true! Were so good. Nine year old me watching television with my parents, not moving a muscle so they don't know it's past my bedtime. This ball oh, played true. a big role in almost everyone's childhood. Oh my fucking god. They always had a pit of these things in Walmart. There would be like a PVC like uh, cage with like uh, 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 rubber bands basically or bungee cords holding all these in. And you, every time when you were a kid, you would walk by it and just grab one out. And your parents would be like, no, put it back. <laughs> or maybe I just did that, I don't know. Still have an unbreakable ruler from when I was a kid. You're making me want to do that again? I just think Hong Kong was the capital of China when I was a kid simply because it was a major city. I mean, to be fair, almost all the media from China that we were, were aware of came out of Hong Kong, right? So it's like, that was basically what they talked about. I find it funny how all kids discover the exact same things, though. It's, uh, yeah, it's like universal. This is the ball every kid played with in a store, but actually never bought or took it home. Yes! This picture just got stuck to the roof of my mouth. Oh my Who fucking remembers god. these? These won't erase anything, and they taste horrible. True. What was your favorite struggle meal growing up? Struggle meal? These are still good. Pork and beans, peanut butter jelly, ramen, fruit loops? All of the above, yeah. These, like, I eat this shit now. This, this is a struggle meal. Like, these are all still good. A ketchup sandwich. We would have uh, uh, banana sandwiches with mayonnaise. My mom would make. I don't know why, but you know what? They were actually good. Rob, it's so fucking good, though. It is. You take, you take two pieces of white bread. You cut up a banana into like little slices, and then you just put mayonnaise on one side of the bread. And you make a banana sandwich. Our struggle meal was beans and rice, but I really liked beans and rice. Yeah, beans and rice is good. That sounds fucking disgusting. You try it. It's it's not bad. It's like sweet and savory. Is is it the best thing in the world? No, but it's pretty good. Banana hate. Racist. Bologna plus American cheese plus ketchup on white bread slices. See, I like bologna and the cheese on white bread, but I don't like ketchup on it. I like mayonnaise. And maybe mustard. Copium, shut up. That's a struggle meal. That's fine dining compared to what I eat now. I mean, these are all good. You ever had sleep for dinner? Total yes. Wipeout was a legendary show, hands down. Bro, it I was. used to think I could finesse all the obstacle oh, courses. Oh, easily. You don't know concentration until you have to take <laughs> this thing from the sink to the freezer. Before Snapchat and Instagram was around. Oh, this is fuck you these things. Your outfit. Oh my god. I had, I think I still have scars on my knuckles from me, like, trying to turn this thing and, like, I don't know, for some reason. It was, like, on the wall in just a certain way to, like, uh, uh, there was, like, a brick wall behind it. So every time you did a rotation with your hand on this thing, you would scrape your knuckles against the brick. And I'm pretty sure my knuckles still have scars. Like, they are scarred, but I think it's from this. Never forget where you came from. These lollies used to cut tongues viciously. They Another still do, and they're still pleasure, good. Which has no explanation. True, Me real. My childhood, without <laughs> any reason. I did this! I am now convinced that most of us have the same childhood. <laughs> Throwback Thursday. Where is computer number nine? We are not leaving until it's back in the card. LM See, that one, that one's after my time. We did not have laptops in school. <laughs> Elementary kids have iPhones, but this is what I did in elementary. Not a uh -huh. cell phone inside, then you can peel it just off. people living in the moment. Remember in the early 2000s when your aunt would have a random bowl filled with blue glass pebbles sitting in a windowsill? Oh, no, we had, we didn't have this. We had, it was this little like brass box with a bunch of holes in it. And it had these like things, they looked like gummies, but they were like these smell good things. And they were like, don't eat them, they're poisonous. I was like, but they look so amazing. I want to eat them, and they smell like fruit. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what these are, but I want to fucking eat them. 
Anyone else remember when kids in school used to do this? Wait for it to dry, then eat it. You had wait, we didn't eat it. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say kids we did that, but we didn't eat it. Like this are all now in prison. VeggieTales <laughs> characters as vegetables. I found this image in the deepest crevices of my memories. I don't what know that one. What is this, and why do I remember it? They I don't remember it. Pops in school because people were sucking them into pointy weapons. Wait, did they? Who else remembers the temporary oh, buildings at God. school that were up for decades? Yeah, the temporary buildings that were all. Always used. And you know what? They were always the best because they would have the new AC units. And so they would be like freezing cold when you went in these. Like when it got close to summer vacation and you went in these, it felt amazing. The portables, yeah. I remember one time it was getting close to summer vacation and the AC unit broke and this thing heated up. It was like a fucking hot box. We had all the windows and doors open and we were still sweating our ass off. My high school was so shitty at the time, half the building were those types of temp buildings. I remember those, the school was closed down, but for those buildings were... I always make them into a shiv, it was for my prison escape plan. I kept getting next to the quicksand plans. Always holes in the bathroom walls of those. We didn't have bathrooms in these, they were just like trailers. And they'd have like a deck built to it. I remember my brother made a shiv in tech ed class back when we were still at school. Today's kids will never know how big of a oh deal my it God. is to go to the computer lab. The this fucking computer lab. I remember the computer lab in the third grade. They were trying to teach people how to type, and I was playing EverQuest at the time. So people were, like, getting, like, 10, 12 words a minute. I was getting 90 because I was yelling at people at EverQuest and talking to my guild all the fucking time. I don't know why I'm so proud of that, but <laughs> I am. <laughs> Those were temporary, they're supposed to be. I remember my brother made his- oh, I read that. Was they so started cringy. the EverQuest this addiction early. It was great! The weirdest part of the 2012 hipster trends. Your millennium babies wouldn't understand. This was Netflix before Netflix. Uh -huh. Only the real ones had the bootleg DVDs with the Sharpie label. True, I'm true. this old. Damn. Holy Y'all fuck, I remember this. For this one. When things used to be so simple. These things are amazing. These like Minute made like freeze pops? So fucking good. Holy shit, I forgot these existed, dude. Good job. I learned how to type by playing Fantasy Star Online. I knew a kid who could type really fast. I missed those triangle things so much, they were so amazing. I never had these freeze pops. They were like... They were... I mean, they were just frozen juice, basically. But they were so much better than the, 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 the long ones. They were... They were just so good. Yeah. And this... These are good, not the spoon, not the wooden spoon. Then you got the French bread sticks. And I think these are like donut sticks, also good. And this is pizza bread, or maybe just bread sticks. Pizza log slap. Triangle makes it taste better, back man. The long one that cut the sides of your mouth? Yeah, those. What are those called? Are they just called freeze pops? The long ones, they would always cut you. I mean, those are good, but these were like, these were like the healthy good option, which they're not. But, I mean, they're better. Otter Pops from my childhood. Also, the Ninja Turtles Popsicle from the ice cream truck. Yeah, ice cream trucks are one of the things that I don't have any nostalgia for. Because I didn't live in a city. I lived in the middle of nowhere, so we didn't have ice cream trucks. They were so much better than the long ones. Bags failing to beat the allegations. Shut up. Sometimes I wonder if we all actually have the same childhood. I think maybe we did. Me, disassembling and reassembling my pen. Did anyone else's parents make them go to sleep early, two weeks before school started, to prepare? Who rem they tried. They tried. It never worked. They would just make me, like, they would try to make me fall asleep, and it never worked. I would just stay up. And so basically, on summer break, I would do a full rotation over. I would go from, like... Uh, sleeping at night and staying up all day and slowly transition into staying up all night and sleeping all day. And then by the time school was coming back around a couple months later, I had gone full circle back to sleeping at night and staying awake all day. <laughs> Remembers, crack the egg was all fun and games until you got hit with a double bounce. It's because you wouldn't get your ass beat for doing it, so I wouldn't. Uh, what? For not going on bed on time? What are, like, I know, I, I know you people are like, yeah, my mom would beat my ass if I didn't go to bed on time. But see, my parents were this thing called reasonable. And it all worked out fine. I became a productive member of society. <laughs> Guess what? It just means I work a night shift. What do you mean, you people? You.
people. Derogatory. I would listen to talk radio all night when they made me go to bed early. Dating college show. Yeah, I would play EverQuest and have a radio next to me and just listen to, like, the local radio station because we didn't have second monitor content then. We only had the one. You can't say that and still play EverQuest, Bagman. I can. You dated? Yeah. Are you making fun of me because I'm white? Yeah, totally. Flying off the trampoline. Absolutely no one. Six-year-old us. Eight full Same. grocery bags. <laughs> Ten-year-old me. The Wii Mies <laughs> were the original Bitmojis. Black dude in the orange oh shirt God. will beat you the hell up in boxing too. Who True. you got? I really would prefer not to see this kind of violence. That, the hungry caterpillar and the rainbow fish. And also they're using the Street Fighter 4 versus side. When the raindrop you pick on the window doesn't win the race. I'm oh this my old. fucking god. This is why we can spot our significant other from a mile away. OMG, <laughs> y'all remember this. All oh, that was amazing! Equally because why did they have this? this? Why did they always have this shit? We didn't have like this thing with air going in it, but we would have a giant parachute. His name is Matt, you peon. Sucker Caterpillar was my favorite book. My parents were strict and now I'm a neat. What is the air thing? Well, we didn't have this air thing, but we had a giant parachute where, like, you would lift it up and fucking it would get air, and then, like, you would all go on the inside at the same time and sit in it for some reason. Same parachute elementary gym class. Yeah. I assume this is, like, the modern equivalent of the parachute. That thing. We did that in my school. Yeah. Why did we all have that? And that thing, too, in my school? Yeah. We didn't have this with this shit. But yeah, I guess this is like the modern parachute. Gee, y'all remember this. All schools were not created equally because what is this? Me, when thousands of memes flash before my eyes before I die, instead of cherished memories of loved ones and my childhood, <laughs> no one, 10 year old me looking at the camera in the supermarket. I, I still do that. dropping these things in class and they bounced across the whole country. Who <laughs> remembers these? We oh my God, these fucking gummy burgers, they tasted horrible. And they weren't, they like, they're so shitty into these like they were actual burgers true Blew my mind curious george only liked him because he looks like a banana retweet if you remember using these as a kid i really thought i, I deserved a degree in mechanical engineering after plugging these in my little mm -hmm. brother came home and your parents and your grandparents would think you were amazing because you could fix the tv because they didn't understand how plug white wire into white socket to work for some reason <laughs> It's just color-coded, but, like, they didn't get it. From the dollar store and threw one of these at me. I just went so far back into memory lane, I got lost. I don't I think we had these. The cold window just uh, hit different. It did. What were these for? Why are they so familiar? What? what the... Seeing your head on the cold Hold window on. just hit different. What were these? What were these? Why are these so familiar? These were for something in math class. I don't remember what. But, like, you would have these worksheets or something, and you would put these over it to, like, highlight the answers. It's for learning how to count. The highlighter things is... I don't remember what these are, but I know I use these. Aren't they diddly wings? I don't know what that is. I vaguely remember those plastic coin things, too. Yeah, I don't know why. They make me think of Pogs. No, they, they were something in class. These four, why are they so familiar? What's the dumbest thing you ever did as a kid? My mm. shining moment was when I was like four. I put floaties on my feet and jumped into a pool thinking I would walk on water. I almost drowned. I did the $10 same $10 thing! <laughs> I did the same fucking thing! I was like, watch this shit. I'll tie my floaties around my ankles and then your feet flow up and you can't get your head above water and you almost died. <laughs> are, are we all the same? Kid versus $100 <laughs> as an adult. Before cell phones and social media, this is how we all figured out where the squad was at. Me True and my childhood without any reason. Those of you that had your first panic attack in one of these bad boys Holy fuck. know what's up. Ch Holy shit, the Chinese finger traps that you would get from like everything. And then like on occasion, any reason those of you on occasion it just wouldn't come out and that's the day i figured out i was like i need to get stronger because then i just had to like pull as hard as i possibly could until this thing ripped apart you that had your first can't do that anymore hobos still bikes i don't know i live in the hood chat like people die here right like two houses down got shot up at a drive-by 
I can still walk down the street and people just leave their bikes out. Maybe it's because everyone has guns that they don't steal anything, but like, people just leave their shit out here. I don't know. <laughs> like in one of these bad boys, know what's up? Childhood days. Gun solves crime. Checks with God finger. damn, yes, yeah. It is. Mom, I got your nose. Two year old me. Six year old me. Waiting for my mom to choose what I'm going to wear after taking a bath. Me. Oh my god, same. I had my parents put out the clothes I was going to wear to school for so fucking long. Because they were like, dress yourself, and I just wear the same clothes every day for like two weeks. And they're like, no. <laughs> Pick new clothes. Here's a kid, when I fix my toy car. Mechanic. Sure, death is scary, but remember Frank from Cars. Me, no. fake sleeping in the car as a kid, so I can get carried inside. Having a kid sounds stressful. Like, how do you make sure they have just enough childhood trauma that they will turn out funny? <laughs> Ten-year-old me, sitting at the top of the stairs, listening to my parents talk smack about me true real or hiding in the closet while your parents argue because you want to find out what they're arguing about <laughs> i would do that just don't leave them out at night i mean people leave them out all the time they just steal the bike back because everything has trackers in it i just think chinese finger traps were some uh esoteric torture device when i was a kid without realizing how easy they are to snap yeah you can just pull them apart if you actually pull I live in a place where if you locked your bike, they would just steal any parts they could be taken off the bike. <laughs> or they just... Wait, yeah. I just... That's rich people shit. Yeah, I live... Uh, just, yeah. Shitty neighborhood. People leave their bikes and stuff out all the time. Maybe maybe that's like survivor bias, right? Like, I see the ones that people didn't steal, so I think it's fine. Maybe all the other ones already have been stolen. So, I don't know. Demon about to kill me as an eight-year-old. A blanket. Ten-year-old me getting ready to open the door. My mom's not home. This was probably <laughs> the most irrational childhood fear that I had. What's the I dumbest didn't have that one. you had as a child? When I was four or five, I swore that bird seeds grew birds. Thus the name. When my parents asked me to prove it to them, I planted a pile of bird seeds. The next day, I did not have that idea. Where I planted the seeds, showing I was right. Who knows? <laughs> My dumbest thing that I believed as a child was I believed in Santa until I was like 13. I believed in Santa until I was like 12 or 13 years old because when I was like four or five, I went to sleep, right? Well, like I didn't know I went to sleep, but I went to bed and I laid in uh, bed and I thought like I'd literally just close my eyes for like two seconds. And I opened my eyes and like went out to like get water or something. And, like, when I went out, the entire, like, living room had presents in it. And so I was like, it didn't have presents two seconds ago, and now it does. That's, like, time dilation shit. Santa's real. Little did I know, I probably just fell asleep for, like, hours and didn't realize it. But I remember, I remember my sister being like, you know, Santa's not real to me when I was, like, 12. I'm like, yes, he is, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> like he absolutely is. <laughs> Santa's real base. You did not know what time dilation was as a child. No, I'm just saying now. Now it happened. Like looking back, I was like, this is time dilation. But like at the time, I thought I just blinked and then the room filled up with presents what this is a teachable moment for an overly curious child in a car alone someone lighting a oh, cigarette yeah. me why do you love oh pizza so much my i think part of the reason that i have lung issues alone, is because like everyone that i knew like adults smoked in the car so you're just constantly breathing in secondhand smoke as a kid <laughs> Eating a cigarette. Me. Why do you love pizza so much? My television. As True! I found this in the depths of your memories. <gasps> These One are time, great. when I was like 11, my dad took me to an Italian restaurant and the waiter asked what my name was and I said, Sam, but you can call me Captain Ravioli. And my dad just <laughs> looked at me and said, what the fuck was that? Don't do that. And I've been chasing that high ever since. <laughs> if you don't feel old yet, here's your childhood behind a glass Oh my museum. god, no. don't. That's also when you go to like a game Hi, store, since. like if a retro game store, they'll have like all the consoles lined up. You're like, man, all these are fucking amazing. The Dreamcast, Super Nintendo, Atari, the fucking Sega CD, the N64, Genesis. These are all so good.
All old yet. Also He's your good. childhood, behind a glass in a museum. Nobody, no, most of these same. In a mall. I can only step on white tiles, or I will die. An True. accurate representation of going from childhood to adulthood. If you don't know this problem, I feel sorry for your childhood. Sharpening a pencil at the bin was the childhood equivalent of taking a cigarette break. Bro, True. I had to be the dumbest preschooler out there. Threw that thing in a scrow. I didn't even realize <laughs> what was that I spent happened? my child- Is that what happened? Hold on. Picture disappeared because I hit button. To playing with the virus. I was banned from taking baths when I was younger because I would use up all the bubble bath. And when confronted in the tub, I would retreat into the bubbles and tell them to schedule an audience if they wanted to meet the king of the bubble <laughs> kingdom. This was a personal story I shared in confidence. All of you will be tried for death. I have no tolerance for treason in the bubble kingdom. Getting mm. hit in the face by this ball when it was wet. Oh my was fucking mad. god. Like you got oh my god, you get hit in the face when it's wet? And then you're like, oh, now you, not only did you get hit in the ball, like hit in the face with the ball and you're fucking embarrassed and everyone's laughing at you. You also have a shit ton of like dead grass stuck to your fucking face. And if you wore glasses, your glasses also flew off. It was like every worst possible thing could, that could happen to you happened in like one second. <laughs> It's like getting hit in the face by this thing was like your world just came crashing down. You would get so fucking pissed. <laughs> got slapped by Wolverine. In sixth grade, I had a really big crush on this boy who had a girlfriend. So one day on AIM, I messaged him a link to the music video, You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. Joe, if you're reading this, that was weird. My bad. How old were you mm. when you realized recess in elementary school was the teacher's mandatory breaks, not for the students, today years old. Things it's that fine, hit they need right it. Right in the childhood. Oh, every girl had one of these. I didn't play sports as a kid. It was like mandatory when I was a kid. They would just like, like at some point they're going to put you out in a field with other kids, like in gym or whenever. And they will make you play some sport and they won't teach you the fucking rules about it. They'd be like, here, play soccer. You're like, how do you play soccer? And like, they would just never explain it. Like here, today we're gonna play touch football or like fucking uh, 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 flag football or whatever. Like, I don't know how to play football. And they just never explained anything. They would just make you go do it. So you just had a bunch of kids running around just fucking doing stuff. I just hung out with a loser instead of playing sports in school. Yeah, but they still wouldn't make you go do it. I always hid. Oh, they would find us. I remember I got in trouble uh, because like they had this thing in middle school where you were supposed to run the mile as fast as you could. I was like, I don't want to run. So I just walked it. And they're like, well, because you're not taking it seriously, you can't go to archery class at gym tomorrow. And I was like, I have a bow and arrow at home that I bought at a yard sale for 50 cents. So get fucked, I guess. I'm not running your mile. <laughs> One, finding a presidential your fitness test. Yeah, used that's to go shit. to your parents' room at night to ask to go to a friend's house and just sat there on their bed for a while, pretending like you were interested in what they were watching, but really, you were just trying to build up the courage to ask. You did oh my god, yeah. Or when you're trying to wake up your parents, and instead of just like waking them up normally, you would get really close to them and just be like, Mom, Mom, and like slowly touch them. <laughs> And like it would always just make and your mom whenever she would woke woke up would act startled. Like, oh, what? <laughs> well school had archery, but they only let the girls do it. The boys had to do football. I was so upset. Why? Why couldn't the boys do archery? You had archery at school, I had to take class at a place for that when I was a kid. I mean, it wasn't like they didn't weren't using like compound bows. They were just shitty. I don't know why they had it was just like they devoted two days to archery training for some reason. And it was just like, I don't know why. <laughs> like, I think it's because women's elbows are better made for bows, so probably safety. Uh I don't know about that. Closest thing they did was throwing javelins, but they were all fake ones. We did archery for high school gym for a few days. Yeah. Always weird, like, why did they make us do an archery class? I mean, it was cool, I guess, but it just seems so random to throw in. When I was nine, I did archery at the local YMCA, used recurve bows. Yeah, we didn't have those. We had just literal, literal shitty fucking bows that you would get for, like, as cheap as possible. And I had my own cheap shitty bow, so I just used that one.
You did not have a childhood if you didn't put one of these bad boys under your legs in the pool and pretended you were surfing. True, and real. And shoots out of the water like a torpedo and gives you a Mike Tyson <laughs> uppercut from hell. True and real. I just told a story at work about my childhood that I thought was really funny. And now everyone is super quiet and someone said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> if your kid does this to your whip, what are you what? doing? What? There comes a time in every I've child's never life seen when this. remember a whooping. This will be the one. Who else? Yeah. I got an ass whooping because I scratched my dad's car with a rock one time. But, like, I don't remember this. There comes a time in every child's life when they remember a whooping. This will be the one. Who else remembers? You just took me way back with this one, huh? Do See, you like, I'm, like, too old for those things. Was your only problem? Who else remembers mm -hmm. doing this as a kid? I oh yeah, sword master. Damn. After I got a whooping, I would be laying down on the floor playing with this thing with tears running down my face. <laughs> we really all lived the same childhood in we different did. houses. Nineties kind of sucked. Imagine being stuck in the house with no internet. The nineties was amazing. This person's got a rip in him. You're not stuck in the house. You can do so many. Just go outside. You can do stuff. There's like oh. Uh, the 90s was amazing because everything was like kid centric there was like every commercial was like kid centric because they were like that's the audience we got to target the kids to get them to buy our shit and like it was it was so good in the 90s to be a kid yuck they had to put a commercial on the television that said it's 10 p.m do you know where your kids are for our parents to remember we existed we were not stuck in the house <laughs> yeah we were not stuck in, in the house and i used to have some wild friday nights back in the day oh, the quality of this was so days. bad but it really made you feel like an artist holy I shit feel true the dryness of those markers <laughs> in my bones getting out of your car in the 90s was like without true. revealing your age what's something you remember that if you told Things a younger safe person they would not some. understand sometimes Birthday parties at mcdonald's they were good. Today. We'll never know how fun it was to go outside every single day with your friends and just sit here. One day, we all sat on this for the last time together, and none of us ever knew uh, it. Mom, no, my feels. Outside. I got groceries. Me. I did not get this joke as a kid. No. This is how we turned on our computers in the 2000s. That's Grandma's true. Grandma would be acting like drug dealers every time she wants to give us some money. <laughs> then you turn the basement lights off and run upstairs before death consumes Tuck you. Thing. Six year old True me, and real. To force also that one. Also that one. Birthday parties at Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, we didn't have Chuck E. Cheese around. We had, well, I can't say the name of it because it'll dox me. But we had this other thing we would go to sometimes. Chat, you guys remember uh, a couple months ago when we were watching Chuck E. Cheese fights on YouTube of, like, people that still go to Chuck E. Cheese in, like, modern times. And now it's just, like, all the adults fight each other for some reason. <laughs> Two magnets, even though they aren't yeah. going to stick together. Admitted, we've all done this while eating mac and cheese. I've done Did this. anyone else ever pour soda into the cap and drink it like it was a shot? Yes! Every monstrosity and horror I could think of. My bed. Six-year-old me. Postcard from child from camp. Not dead yet. Eight-year-old's <laughs> haircuts now versus my haircut. This is fucking real. This is fucking real. Your parents cut your hair when they were, you were a kid. And it would just be the most simplistic cut they could possibly make. And it would look fucking horrible. When I was in kindergarten chat, I had a rat tail. A rat tail is like when your head is like basically like tapered up on the sides. Except for like a very long strand in the back for no fucking reason. It never looked good. Why did my parents give me that? Like, even, like, no one wanted that. <laughs> so why did I have one? And I was a kid. I didn't know. But they knew. And they still did it to me. True and real. I had jerry curls. My brother had a rat tail. I had shaggy hair when I was a, a small like, To humble you bags. <laughs> yeah, it was to humble me. I was too full of myself when I was in kindergarten. My dad forced buzz cuts on me my whole childhood. I mean, a buzz cut at least is like a normal thing, right? It's cheap and easy, but at least a buzz cut looks better than the bowl cut. And it looked better than a fucking rat tail. You would be too OP. Girl hair is so easy, just don't cut it and tie it in a ponytail every now and then. Yeah, maybe that's easy. You just don't cut it. Had buzz cuts in Terrell High School. Older boys laughed at me for having a bowl cut, so my grandpa gave me a buzz cut, and I never had a bowl cut again. I mean, I would take the buzz cut. I do those now. You should rock the rat tail bald head combo. <laughs> I think that would be the worst.
When I was eight. Me, suddenly gaining self-consciousness at my fourth birthday party. True. Childhood secret weapon. Five-year-old me, amazing. putting a ball inside my clothes. Next thing I knew, I was pregnant. <laughs> a nice rock I just found on the beach. Five-year-old me, these are stronger than most relationships Holy shit, they these are. days. Seven-year-old me, you can't take those things off. whenever I see a surveillance camera, opens a pack of I still do it. the entire school. You true. knew it was going to be a good movie when you seen this. That's true. Kids Fuck. Know. It's true. As a thousands kid, I don't know what bleeding or hoses are all i know is pronouns and all i know is pronouns and phone this was like be home when the lights come on drinking water out of the water hose was peak i don't know what the fuck this is i think this is just juice frozen this you would sit on oh and this is bleed or this is blurry it's a cut on something okay i was like i don't know what this is but bleeding understood Phone. Eight-year-old me in the front of the mirror, trying to catch my reflection off guard. Bro, True. what the hell is this? I knew the car I drew in kindergarten was real. <laughs> Ten-year-old me, after using my fingers to put on my shoes. I remember those days when you missed school and you would check the time and think, they're eating right now, doing yeah, this without I any do. reason. When True. I was younger, True I was also. in the shower and this happened. I thought I was a full-blown waterbender <laughs> or aquaman. Same Honestly, fuck. I'm getting tired of everyone having the same childhood experiences <laughs> as me. If you don't know who this is oh not have a that's the girl from matilda the principal she was the thanos of our childhood five-year-old me she was amazing great villain seven-year-old me realizing mum's name isn't mum just found the cutest bottle ever this brings back so many memories nine-year-old me scared something happened to my mom because she isn't back from the market yet the real ones <laughs> know what's up with these i was always oh, scared to drink out of this was you could fucking put cereal in these and you would eat the cereal and then you could drunk like suck the milk out of the bowl these are amazing this straw because i was afraid someone didn't wash it good enough Whenever also I true by a tr i would also not like to drink out of it because i would think there would be a spider in it for some reason i don't know why I was today years old, and I those. realized the Vans logo is the square root of the answer. Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. There is always that one innocent spoon in every home that you just dislike for no reason. Why do I understand this? If I you do did not drink milk mean. out of a bag in grade school, what you the are too fuck? young for me. Am I the only one who drank out of a small carton like a normal- Is this a Canadian thing? No one drank milk out of a bag in the US. Never finished a milk of your cereal. Hello, Baghdaddy. Hello, Sneed child i got the squad on speed dial parts of a playground versus what they felt like 90s hoverboards on, squad on speed that. dial parts of a play no one no one of my schools had bag milk yeah i didn't either glued pee hole raid what the fuck oh god ah oh, ninjas <laughs> kersha hell hello. yeah kersha hello foxu glued pee hole raid why is the pee hole glued what happened? Thank you for the raid. Hello, Kill raiders. Immediately. I'm Baxter, the Bagman. Kill we're yourself. looking at memes right now, and then we're probably going to play I'm a game. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Bag Bagman. Hello, Cole. Uh, followers. Bucky, hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for following. Uh, Nuke, thank you for following. Freedom, thank you for following. ZT Zayn, thank you for following. Vith Vidup, thank you for the gift subs. Oh, fuck. Buffy Graves, thank you for following. Odie, oh, thank you for following. Country, thank you for following. Liz, thank you for following. Last Rick, thank you for following. Oh, fuck. This is so many new people following. Shit. This DI raid. Blow it away. <laughs> Glued clothes mods bad. <laughs> so many people. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh, God. I've lost my spot. I lost my fucking spot. Zim, thank you for 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. This is Bagman, I'm like. coming to oh, kill you. Ah, is there a play? From your bag, curse to flow, 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 curse to flow. Nim had a woman moment and got his pee hole glued shut. Nim? How is he gonna sound now? How is he gonna do that now? Jim the lamp, thank you for following. Gorbite, thank you for following. Trip, thank you for following. Everyone, thank you for following. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Did you, did you guys play anything or were you just looking at stuff all day? Were you looking at news? <laughs> the, the glue. Hell yeah. He won't, that's the point. No sounding. <laughs> DI stuff, bridge. It was bridge all day. Ah, I see. Well, we're going to have to be doing other stuff here. We're not talking about bridge and DI shit. We're just looking at memes. Right now we're looking at memes of our childhood. Are the guy that yells out brick? Yes, that's me. I'm the guy that yells out brick in Crime Boss. 
<laughs> the glue. The Kill yapping. yourself immediately. These things, yeah. We're looking at the childhood memes, 90s hoverboards, and just remembering shit that we did when we were kids. And then we got some more videos to watch. And then we're, yeah, we're going to play something later. So welcome in. <laughs> My childhood was fishing. I still fish today. Yeah. Boards. Jim Class used he to be wheels the shovel. Never That's the me. About these. If Mail you recognize this three. image, you are qualified for a veteran's discount. Who I don't recognize that. Use? Or like in Heroes, can you start this for me? Y'all poke. Or Wait, hold on. I missed that one. Count. Who else used to make these? Oh, these were the bracelets. I remember these. People would make these. The meme made me feel old. Or like in Heroes, <laughs> can you start this for me? Y'all poke or peel these. I thought using your front teeth was the Bags, only you were option. a boy scout. What kids have these I was. Days? I was a boy scout for two weeks because I wanted to join the boy scouts to go camping and stuff. And then all we did was go to meetings and like safety meetings and sign paperwork. And I was like, this is boring, mom. I was like, can I get out of the boy scouts? <laughs> because <laughs> we're not doing shit. Kill yourself. I was like, it's just... The beatings were way too lame. Yeah. I was like, I was like, what if you just got me like a cheap tent and I went camping in the yard? And she's like, Kill all right. Because I'm pretty sure she also just didn't want to take me to the meetings. Because it's like she'd get off work and then have to drive me to something like 30 minutes Kill away because we lived in the middle of nowhere. And so she's like, yeah, fine. You can get out. But yeah, thank you for following. Thank you, thank this you. This is what we had. You already know what season this is. These things oh. smack in the summer. Eight-year-old me pretending to smoke when it's cold outside. Same. When mom lets you keep... Chat. I might be retarded, but did you go outside when it was cold and, like, your parents are warming up the car and you try to inhale some of the exhaust to blow out the smoke and pretend you were smoking? <laughs> no, might be... No, what the fuck, yes. <laughs> I never did that, thankfully. That explains a what. What the fuck you mean, Mike? Not pretending at that point. <laughs> explains a lot, Bagman. Might be retarded. Thought about it. I also inhaled, um... We had a fog machine for some reason. Oh, for some reason. It's because it was at Spencer's, right? And I saw it in the mall. And I wanted one. And we got, so we had a fog machine. You would also spray the fog machine in like a bottle and fill it up with smoke. And then you would inhale that and blow it out. Gas smell goes so hard though. Oh, gas used to smell so good when it had the lead in it. It's just a vibe. This is why he has a dent. I remember fog machine tasting like chocolate. Um, I didn't have a taste like it or taste like anything, but yeah. We get it, you vape. I don't vape. <laughs> I don't know why I started smoking when I was older. But then I quit, so it's fine. The change. Six-year-old me, trying to invent a new color. Wait here, I will be back. I, oh god. This is traumatizing. Seven that is traumatizing. Standing up in the bath, after holding my breath underwater for 22 seconds. This <laughs> fertile exists. How my five-year-old brain saw this. Eight-year-old. Oops, my bad. How it looked versus how it felt. The True. four horsemen of childhood memories. You oh, are ten fuck. years old. Hold on, wait. Let me see these. How it looked versus how it felt. Is the, the four horsemen. Whippets? What the fuck? I would do all this. Yep, you've got to drag your finger through these grooves in the wall. Trying to put this in the middle. Trying to peel the stuff off the pencil. I did all this shit. ...of childhood memories. You are 10 years old and just unlocked the ability to become a turtle. Also Going true. This boy, how it looked What's versus the how top it felt. Left? Admit it, you have what? all done these things in childhood. <laughs> using your ruler as a sword. Trying to balance a switch between up and down. Using your bed as a trampoline. Closing the refrigerator only to see the light turning off. Six-year-old me at 2 a.m. Debating if I should hold my piss in until the morning. Or sleds. run down the hall and risk an attack from a demon. 12-year-old me at the the toy section, knowing full well I'm never getting any of it. I remember <laughs> these. You just opened a deep- Oh! These are the fucking things you would- Are these the ones you would put in water, and it would turn into things like the dinosaurs? Kill yourself! Immediately! What's the thing? Thank you for following. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the- They're mighty beans? I don't think I had these. I remember those? No. They would flip around? I don't think I had these. I don't know this one then. Mighty beans. Yeah, I don't think I had these memory that I thought didn't exist. Describe a perfect day. There's that parachute! Me, what adults see. There's that fucking parachute! 
<laughs> See, we all had the parachute. Marie, do they still do that in school? Do they still do that? They had metal balls in them? Oh. I got the dinosaurs that expand into water at Dollar General. Yeah, those pills that turned into dinosaurs were amazing. Feel it old as fuck. The parachute indoctrination. Why did we all have this? Like, do they still do this? Does anybody old enough to have kids? <laughs> Is this still a thing? A perfect day. Seven-year-old me. What adults see versus what kids see. Sixth grade me coming home and opening my first generation iPod touch. If you don't I'm too old for that one. You are too young for me. I must be getting old as hell because what is this? Six-year-old me digging in the sandbox to reach the center of the earth. There's <laughs> not one unique experience in this video. I still True. think you gotta be on some voodoo stuff to work with one of these. Play, pause, volume. How the fuck? Like, I didn't have one of these and I didn't understand it. Like... I didn't have these when I was a kid because I'm fucking old, but when I was like uh, in the military and people had iPods, they had people had these. I was like, how do you know what song you're on? I didn't have these. Him up, down, next back. What's hard to understand about these controls? Burn the witch. The four horsemen <laughs> of a five-year-old's dream job. When mom when says kid, she will be back soon, Sam. the cashier starts scanning the items. Me as a kid, when I had to throw away the cool stick I found. These smell so bad and were probably washed once a year. Coming All the best for the team. Product, best feeling. Uh -huh, these, that was an I can art still class. smell them. You haven't known real fur until you've tried to use one of these. Oh my God. We had, me and my friends would and take these, these things, I can still these poppers, you haven't no these popper things, right? You would take them, and you would just try to see where you could put them on to, like, hurt each other the worst. You're like, alright, you lay down and close your eyes, and we're gonna put them on top of your eyeballs. And it would fucking smack you in the eye. And sometimes it didn't hurt that bad. But sometimes it would hurt so fucking bad it was unbelievable. It was crazy. Known real fur until you've tried to use one of these. I need all of my public school peeps to help me out. Did I'll anyone else pattern. have to play a recorder in elementary school? Specifically, hot cross buns. Yes. This is real. I Why swear. did they make when everyone do that? When you start Lego sets for 20 seconds and then your mum disappears. When your ball gets stuck under the car, retweet if these had a positive impact on your children. These are good. The you space could have brownies. In for someone's whole lunch. Flashback yeah. to when you were a kid and your parents took you to a random event. Let's see what's upstairs. Upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> when they reach the top of this stick exists kids me mm -hmm, smelling mm -hmm. a scent Car you know chat you know what was a good thing with the sticks it's when they reach the you know top the of best this stick stick instead of finding one outside like if your parents went to like lowe's or home depot and they got the uh 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 um fuck there was always a box with these like wooden sticks in it they were like perfect shaped right dowels yeah those your parents would buy you a dowel for like a dollar and like you could use it as a sword and it was amazing exists kids me smelling a scent carried by the breeze that takes me back to the happiest days of my childhood only to be blown away in an don't instant. do that to me Jumping best one dollar ever spent there eight dollars now why <laughs> it's like something just unlocks when you find a good shaped stick true something in our ooga booga caveman brain makes sticks awesome mm -hmm. pretty sure i was an adult when uh Pretty sure I was an adult through half of this and I still have feels. Yeah. Some of it, some of it, I'm too old, right? But most of this stuff, I'm like, I understand. My dad gave me a, hatch, a hatchet to make my own stick. I mean, yeah, I would take butter knives and try to stick them in dirt and stuff like they were shurikens. Your old saying, look what I can the do. The paint are still free. Me being mm. ill as a kid, two minutes after parents left home. <laughs> Nine-year-old me running to give my dad his phone because Dave Work Boss is calling. When you and your friend are at your neighbor's door because you kicked your ball over the fence. Five-year-old mm -hmm. me coming to terms with my new life as a nomad after I cannot find my mum at the store. <laughs> and what sounds would you hear in the garage? Where's my fucking socket? Don't touch a motherfucking thing. Screw this car. Imaginary mm -hmm, mm -hmm. monster. A cool <laughs> stick. The fucking stick memes. <laughs> do you remember those basketballs with the ring around them that you'd stand on and bounce around? Yes, I do. They look like Saturn for some fucking reason. And they were also on power poles. Like, uh, the power lines. I guess to keep power lines from touching. The pogo balls. Yeah, those things. Dad's yelling at you for holding the light wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or your dad is, like, working on the car. And he's like, hand me the socket. And you're like eight and you don't know anything about tools. So you're like, he's like, hand, hand me the socket. And you like look in the garage and it's a fucking disorganized mess. And you don't know where he's pointing. 
and it's a 10 millimeter always and he's like it's right there and you're like where i don't see it he's like it's right there with the just get the socket and you're like where i don't know he's like i don't get it and it just starts yelling <laughs> what the fuck is a kilometer you ever stand on top of a tunnel thing at the park maybe <laughs> Do you remember those big super soakers that are essentially BFGs of water guns? The 90s super soaker war was so good. They had some, I remember, that would have like new super soakers all the time. And it was just like, one of them was literally you would wear a backpack because it had so much water in it, right? And it was just like this, a fucking fire hose nozzle essentially attached to a backpack and like that was the king one because that one you could put the most water out but there were so many good ones super soaker 5000 the ultimate you can bump so much pressure in that bad boy i still have one of them it still hits like a truck <laughs> literally a backpack attached to a fucking water cannon you could pressure wash a car with that monster yeah not even triggers you pull a handle yeah that one was amazing but that one you like it was like the kid with that one was loaded because that thing was like 50 dollars, and the other super soakers were like 20. so they were like no i'm just gonna buy your parents would buy two of the cheap super soakers for like you and a sibling or your friend or something instead of the one huge one so if you were a kid with the huge one you were fucking the rich kid that I found. Ten year old me. Kids these days will never know the hardships of each week having to overcook <laughs> a fresh hard boiled egg yolk. Great, for the thank computer you for subscribing. Mouse. Seeing thank you, thank Buster you. getting old hit me right in the childhood feels. Kickballs that have been stuck in the middle school gym ceiling since 2011. Oh, yeah. This was all you needed for a birthday party. Back this in was day, amazing. Did you knock on people's doors as a kid and run away before they had a chance to answer? If so, this could be the job for you. Some of y'all mm -hmm. didn't grow up with an older brother who would WWE choke slam you onto your couch because he felt like it and it shows why commit See, murder my sister you... my sister just stabbed me in the foot with a screwdriver when i was a kid i didn't have a brother me and my friend we would just wwe slam each other and also we would get in these like these big metal barrels for some reason and uh put them at the top of a hill and roll down them and uh i got cut horribly in one of those things one time because there was metal sticking out of it when I rolled down. You can have one of these. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'd kill for one of those. I think you're missing the point. Let me just karate chop your ankles real quick. Oh, one God. Of the best it would hurt so bad. Childhood. childhood. A time of adventure and wonder. I just heard two kids playing outside and one goes, I do not fear the dark side. Then the other kid goes, you should. And then I just hear a whack noise. And <laughs> that is the sound of childhood happening. Yeah. Always, always fun having a sword fight with your friend until, like, you hit their hand or something too hard. <laughs> you hit their hand too hard with the sword, and they cry, and then they go tell their parents or some shit. And then you're like, okay, no more sword fights, and then you'll lose them. <laughs> Fucking lame. And you're like, oh, come on, don't tell. <laughs> I remember being the only one to own a trampoline in the trailer park and becoming the most popular kid at the park. Hell yeah. That was me and my boy brother with lightsaber fights. Yeah, we had a giant trampoline in our yard. It was amazing. I'm pretty sure I got lifelong injuries multiple times from that thing. But it was so fun to jump on. I might need to have a talk with my daughter, but I'm not even sure what I would say. Where's the ocean? Six-year-old me in front of the TV. I've had this container since I was a kid, and it gets more depressing as I get older. Dinosaurs, markers, medicine. As a child, oh, no. I had the impression that I would be offered free drugs by strangers much more frequently than the zero Same. times it's happened. It Our never happens. expect us to stop bullying. You're bothering me. Please stop. Understandable. Have a great day. <laughs> yeah, breaking up is sad, but have you ever given away your childhood Lego collection? Yeah. Online friendships are wild mm. because you learn every detail of their childhood traumatic experiences. I was offered a few times. lifelong mental illness in the first week, and then three years later, you're like, wait, you have a dog? Kids today are missing out <laughs> on the pre-streaming era, where your childhood was at least partially defined by some semi-obscure movie your family just happened to own on tape, and yes. you watched several dozen times. For me, it was um, Terminator 2. We had Terminator 2, and it wasn't even the full copy of Terminator 2. It was Terminator 2 that had played on TV with commercials. And so uh, sometimes I could tell, like, my parents, like, tried to stop the recording 
and restart the recording past the commercials, right? And so they would fucking, like, sometimes it would, like, stop and then start back up, like, way past where it should have, so it's just missing parts. And then also sometimes you could tell they just didn't feel like getting up, so they didn't stop the recording. So, like, I remember watching Terminator 2 multiple times and it had a, a tough acting to Nacton commercial that I would see so many times. It was like, you have athlete's foot. It was John Bad going like, you got athlete's foot. Try tough acting to Nacton. And it's just spraying a guy with like CGI fire on his feet. Like, I remember that commercial <laughs> so well. Short circuit. Ads for McDonald's. Maze and Monsters, where I learned to differentiate fiction from reality. Ads for Zest. Not sure what mine would be, but that would be because I don't realize I was watching a semi obscure movie. J.G. Whitworth. I just heard furries hack the government. What? <laughs> When I get away with it a few years later, Transformers, because fuck yeah. Girls Grown Wild shaped my early teen years. Same. It would come on, like the commercial for Girls Gone Wild would come on all the time. Did you guys know that I think, um, I think it's a Girls Gone Wild video game. Or maybe it's called like the man game. I think it's actually called the man game. But it was basically the same thing as Girls Gone Wild. But for some reason, it was a video game on the original Xbox. And they had to pull that off the shelves because one of the girls in it was 17 and was underage. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Cover your heart in a short round, 1985. <laughs> Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, so good. We also had the guy game. Yeah, that one. It was a super legal game, yeah. But uh, we, we had... It was E.T., Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory... Uh, Terminator 2, uh, for some reason my, my sister had, like, the animated Robin Hood movie. Uh, what else did we have? Fuck, I can't remember. There were so many things. It was mostly Terminator 2. That one was great. Kids these days will never know the struggle. Estimated time left, 39 years. Like this, if yeah, you I saw remember that shit. baby, stuffed animal that you had since you were little. One taught Remember who admitted tights? No, the one where he's like a one fox. taught me pain. Teacher, nobody going to lunch until everyone's quiet. Fourth grade me. Everyone shut the fuck up. Ah, yes. <laughs> the stages of life. Child, pain, sleep. When you have mm. no life experiences or achievements. Alex, former child, bringing back <laughs> weird memories from elementary we school. We saw that one. Eight years old nowadays have an iPhone 7 or X but when I was 8 I had this Whoever I just had, had the PSP original Game we Boy eight, we're just as spoiled I had a Jump PSP what about I, space balls. I didn't picture. have those we all tried to push down every color at once yes My we brain, did do it why just do it okay the boys yeah and then Every time you would Down do this, every color at once. My brain. <laughs> every time you would do this, and then you had to go use the eraser, it would make marks of where you stabbed it, and you would just—it was just fucking ruined. <laughs> do it. Why? Just do it. Okay. The boys <laughs> waiting so outside. So much play to see if my mom says yes to them coming in. The ancestors of today's bath bombs, bath beads, the throne of a chief, mm. the throne of a king, the throne yeah, of a god. Seven-year-old me in the car, wondering why. Awesome. The thank you for gifts. Up. Thank you. Thank you. Six-year-old me waiting to die after I accidentally swallowed a little bit of toothpaste. The worst parts of my childhood. Second grade oh me God. walking into the Scholastic Book Fair with seven dollars. You can get so much stuff for seven dollars at the Scholastic Book Fair. That was an amazing time. Have you seen the new MMO being worked on that's based on EverQuest? Yeah, no maybe? Maybe? Nazza, awesome. thank you for giving some again. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for following Dagrum. Thank you, thank you. Same actor is live on two different TV channels. Six-year-old me. Yeah, you're old, but are you this old? When you find out your parents' names aren't actually mom and dad, how many other have I been told by the council? Who else had a stage in their cafeteria? I'm this old. If you remember this game, you're Wait, a legend. That just unlocked... Yeah, I know heard of mermaids. This just unlocked memories. Monsters and memories? Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that one. Naza, thank you, give us up. Thank you, thank you. But... This unlocked a memory. For some reason, in like my middle school, they had a stage. Because it was like the auditorium for like plays and shit also. 
Set a stage in their cafeteria. I'm this old. If you remember this game, you're a legend. But are you this old? It's all fun and games until Holy you shit. lose one piece. Yeah. Some of you never that got smacked thing. in the face with one of these when you were younger, and it really shows. I went to PE one time yeah, with a stuffy nose, got hit well, one time, thousand, and it thank you for all my stuff. sinuses. Thank thank old me after losing my toys. Canadian eatery puts tiny chairs around the little table that comes inside pizza boxes. Oh. My childhood dream has come true. <laughs> Rare photo of a remote control from the 70s. Mm -hmm. What do you, you wear the remote this? control? A. Pretend it's a lightsaber. B. Yell into it. You gotta yell into it. Uh. Uh, dedicated cafeteria in elementary. Jim used the cafeteria beyond that. We also had a secret long tunnel under the school that led to the student rec room, which was a repurposed bomb shelter. Every elementary school built in 50s and 60s. I remember one book that was surprised. Uh, didn't get pulled by Scholastic. Supersonic Flying Paper. It was a creation guide for different paper planes with really heavy paper. I had that book! Holy shit! I had that! I remember trying to make all the paper planes in it. What the fuck? You just unlocked a memory! Ah, my brain! <laughs> Bonk it on someone's head. C. Try to fold it. D. Remove the top layer. When your dad bought oh, you candy, and now he wants his dad tags. My mm -hmm. four-year-old just said, Dad, why do people make up things that their children have said for social media? Isn't it just inherently dishonest and indicative of an inability to construct a compelling narrative for themselves? What we did as kids what? versus what we imagined. When it was time to watch a movie in school, these things were amazing. Today and came across this ancient civilization. Anybody know what era it's from? To give these bad boys out, giving the dirtiest one to the person you did not like. <laughs> Six-year-old me. After all, why not? When I was a kid, every <laughs> time I went the to the bathroom, I was paranoid. Like, me when I was I 10, still pretending am. to be dead in the I still have to keep my shower curtain open, because I'm like, what if someone's in there? Even though it makes no sense. I remember wanting that book for five minutes. Did you have the animals book uh, that every time in elementary school checked out, so there was like a month waiting list to get? Maybe. I'd have to see it. When I was... The books I would always get from the library, it was like... The scary stories wins, right? The scary tales or whatever with the weird drawings and uh, tornado books because they were cool. Nightbags, Chad. See as if I remember scary stories to tell in the dark. Yeah, that was that scary stories to tell in the dark was the Nickelodeon show, I think. Right? That one was good. Or hold on. No, that one's. What was that one? Scary stories to tell in the dark is the book. Then there was Are You Afraid of the Dark was the Nickelodeon show. And then Goosebumps was also good. Goosebumps was also good. The illustrations from the Scary Stories book freaked me out as a kid. That was Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yeah, yeah, that one. Here's Animalia. Hold on. Hide this. Let me look. Animalia. I don't know. I don't think I've seen this one. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hold on. We're almost done with this one. More memes. Goosebumps TV show intro goes hard. I like the pick your own ending Goosebumps. Oh yeah, those were good. Goosebumps were so fun to read as a kid. I went to a store, I think last month, that it was like a secondhand bookstore. Yeah, secondhand bookstore. And they had like all these Goosebumps books like tied together and they were selling it for like 20 bucks. And I bought it. And now they're just sitting in my living room. I was so scared of stuff when I was a kid, so I never read or watched scary stuff. I loved scary stuff when I was a kid. I don't know. I've always loved horror stuff. Solid movie, though. In the pool to see if anyone would care. Eight-year-old me, when my mom made me ring people to thank them for my birthday presents. I feel <laughs> True. sorry for Netflix like, horror kids. Call your they grandma, say thank the you. High stakes adrenaline of running to the, the bathroom for freak books? bedroom in a single ad so. break with the beckoning call of a sibling screaming, "It's on!" to send you hurtling over the furniture to get back in time. In the nineties, you could say, "Excuse me," oh, not, instead of "Excuse me," and get a laugh. It was wild. What five years today have? What I had when I was five? I had these sudden. Even that's, well, was wild. that's mostly too late for me. We didn't have the Wii, we had the, the N64.
<laughs> the PlayStation 1. They have what I had when I was five. I had the sudden and shocking realization this morning that some people have never Super heard Nintendo, the, yeah. oh, where is my hairbrush song and don't automatically sing it in their heads when they're looking for something. That's, Why is there a cucumber my childhood, in the shower? Sam. Because he took a shower and he now needs to find his hairbrush. Obviously. In 1992, I was 12. My dad and I were in the airport. I saw Joe Pesky and I recognized him from Home Alone. I went up to him to ask for his autograph. Joe asked me who my favorite actor was. I said he was. He handed me a crisp $100 and said, that's the right answer, kid. Oh, Scars shit. remind us the past is real. No more snow Bring days. It back. School district replaces wintry days off with online classes. That's we hell. out of school at the right time, ladies and gentlemen. That sucks. We are all Let kids have a day off. All forgetting the real forbidden snake. I cannot believe that this post clocked me. I never would have remembered biting down into the Toast seam of balls. these things, often splitting them in two near perfect halves. The texture was bad. The taste was bad, and yet I chomped. When I was mm -hmm. younger, I just wanted the Crayola 64 pack with the built-in sharpener. Practically oh my god! yourself with excitement when you walked into the PE. I never had the one with the, the sharpener. Was out. Today's kid. I don't know what the what is this thing. I don't know what the fuck this is. With excitement, when you walked into the PE hall and saw that the apparatus was out. Today's kids will never know how we were the original GPS right from the passenger side, and you better had read fast and correct. Holy shit. I remember this era of trying to fucking read directions that you printed out. It was hell. I hated this. Because I was so bad at, like, paying attention to shit. Print me the map quest directions before we leave. Map quest? Yeah. Fuck. Fuck, man. <laughs> oh, jet. Oh, God! All the emotes!